in the deep blue Pacific, off the western shore of South America, near the equator, a cluster of inhospitable islands appear to be lost in time. Wildlife make their home here. One is a giant tortoise called, in Spanish, Galapago. It gives its name to the wild sanctuary of Galapagos. This remote corner of the earth has been battered by waves, abused by volcanic eruptions, trodden by outlandish creatures. It's like Dante's Inferno. The marine iguana, the only lizard that feeds in the sea. But before it enters the cold water, it warms itself up on the rocks. A jagged crest runs along the top of its back. It feeds every three or four days at low water. Red rock crabs make a living by feeding off the ticks of the iguana's skin. Once in water, the iguana has the suppleness of an accomplished swimmer. It doesn't breathe underwater, but can stay submerged for 20 minutes at a time. It conserves oxygen by slowing down its pulse rate and reducing the blood flow. The marine iguana feeds on seaweed, which coats the rocks. When they surface, the iguanas expel the salt they have swallowed during feeding through special glands in their nose. On different Galapagos islands, the males are different colors, red, green, or dark gray. The largest can measure up to five feet in length. The female has chosen her burrow. She digs a hole in which to lay her eggs. The male has come with her, but the partnership gets a little one-sided when the hard work begins. This head nodding by the male is a sign of challenge to other iguanas, not to invade the territory. If a warning is ignored, a fight will develop. The iguanas have evolved armored crash helmets on their heads. They use them to ram one another. If the territory is successfully defended, the intruder goes away, looking for somewhere else to conquer. Over the Pacific, large dolphins are on the move, their backs glinting in the sunlight. Dolphins can reach speeds of 27 miles an hour. They hunt fish by using an echolocation system, making clicking noises, which bounce back from the shoals of fish and are received on their lower jaws. There's an intense activity in the water. Overhead, a frigate bird. They rarely land on water because their feathers quickly get waterlogged. Instead, they snatch their prey from the surface. 
On the ground, a male frigate bird puffs up his brilliant red throat pouch to attract a mate. They spread their wings and gurgle to each other when mating. He has made a nest of twigs into which the female will lay just one egg. His red sack stays inflated until then. In the lagoon, some sea lions have assembled. A huge male weighing 550 pounds has installed his family on the small beach. His harem of 30 females is jealously protected. The sea lion has the grace of a dancer, a synchronized swimmer of the deep. Young pups are born black. After their first molt, they will become reddish brown. Their mothers spend three or four days looking for food. While she is away, the pups are left together in a kind of kindergarten. The mother recognizes her pup by its cry and won't tolerate the offspring of any other sea lion. The pups are suckled, sometimes until they are a year old. And after all that exertion, it's time for a bit of sunbathing. The oyster catcher uses its beak like a chisel to open up its food. Siesta time, with everybody crowded onto the beach, just above the waterline. A flightless cormorant gathering material for its nest. It has no need to fly because it has no predators, but it does possess other skills. A booby, preparing for one of the most interesting courtship dances. These are blue-footed boobies. Their little tap dancing routine emphasizes the fact that their feet are blue. The Galapagos penguins live the furthest away from Antarctica of all the penguin species. Normally inhabiting cold regions, this penguin survives because of the cold water surrounding the islands. Suddenly, from underneath her huge protective shell, the head of a young female tortoise, all 300 pounds, peeps out and pops back. The tortoises have clambered up to the crater. An extraordinary effort when you consider that they sleep for 16 hours a day and can only move a few inches with each step. The rains have filled the crater's mud hollows, a perfect home for a tortoise in the mating season. Hundreds of them are gathered there. A buzzard watches the scene. Galapagos tortoises eat only plants. There are about 10 different species on the islands. Different ones inhabit different volcanoes.
They are the largest and oldest tortoises in the world. They live for about a hundred years. The Galapagos Islands are a naturalist's paradise. Created by volcanic eruptions millions of years ago, they are a laboratory for the study of life itself. <laughs> 